breaking news as we enter this <laughs> Wash Up Walk Ons podcast. On What's your Venmo, morning. Grant? Wow. What's my Venmo? Yeah. Private, I could, private information. I can give it out to the people. Uh, some Patreon members. You're going to get me, like, it's going to get hacked or something. And then, and then I have no dollars. You're going to get, yeah. Okay. Welcome to the episode, Wash Up Walk Ons. Glad you're here with us on today's Grant's birthday, March the 6th. But yeah. you're hearing you're hearing this uh, probably seven or eight days later because we're a little bit ahead. But that's all right. We'll talk about some general things that have happened in the uh, in the Iowa world, or I guess anything that is relevant. Could have like a thirty minute episode tonight. It's all good. Kevin's wearing the construction hoodie hoodie tonight. No, no, we're rocking the Wilson landscaping tonight. Is that is that Yonker? That that's my buddy Yonker's company. Yep. Now. Let's get into this uh, for a second here. Yonker ready to absolutely go off, as they say, in a few months in Vegas? Uh, the guy doesn't know uh, any other way, so yeah. Um, and now there's private chats being had on the thing. Love to see it. Uh, Kev, Vegas looking... It, it's, it's a... It's... It's going to be nice. Are you excited about your bachelor party? Um, yeah, I, I I think we're gonna do it very very well. I From think, the uh, we got the we itinerary got a, this past we weekend. A, we got a good plan in place, and uh, we yeah. just we just need to go out there and execute. You know, got I think. It, yeah. uh, you do you know, want to share the itinerary? For we, we've we've done uh, we've done our due diligence. We've done the game tape. We've done the the prep work. Um, we just need a few hard training months here and go out and perform like we know we can i think we got a good roster a good group of guys and there's there's no reason that we can't go out there and get a win it's tough to get a win in sin city tough go but ahead. you know we got a tough group of guys so I, I feel i feel confident about it you, uh, you have a couple of liabilities out on the field potential there's uh, there, there's, there's more than a couple there's, a, <laughs> there's you know every team has its strengths and its weaknesses um uh-huh. yeah we're no different we just got to play to our strengths and try to cover up our weaknesses as best we can. I, uh, how do you feel about me pulling a, a pretty douche move and not golfing with the group on Friday morning and instead running 10 miles in Vegas? Uh, you know, like I said, I, golfing was a very optional event, like, uh, because golfing is absurdly expensive out there it, yeah especially out there it's ex- it's absurd i feel personally and it's because i don't enjoy the game of golf like most middle-aged men do but i feel like it's absurdly expensive anyway and then you go and dude i i so you guys started talking about where you're going i was like okay i'm not gonna go but i'd like to see where they're going i want to see what they're getting to experience beautiful course not gonna dox the 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 the, the, the i was about to say the wedding party the bachelor party you know, leave some to be desired here, but, uh, bro, not cheap. No, no. It's one of the, it's one of the nicest public courses in the country. So, uh, but yeah, I was never going to make anybody do that. And of course, golf's not your thing. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. I, I only made two events mandatory. You gotta be there on dinner Friday night and you gotta be there at the stadium swim on the, on Saturday uh, for, for the Derby day. That's going to be sick. I hope so. Dude, I, uh, Lauren, Lauren jokingly said something like, you should, uh, and I, I guess I'll divulge the information. I, we were watching Vanderpump Rules together. It's our, it's, it's my guilty pleasure reality TV show that I enjoy. And I watch with my wife and we play along and just watch the smut. Uh, there's a guy on there. They went to Lake Tahoe and there was a guy on there who is in like a, a nice banana hammock speedo. And she's like, you should, uh, you should buy one of those. You should buy one of those and wear it out to Vegas. And I, I was encourage like, it. and I was like, you know, babe, that's, uh, you might've just screwed up there. You might've just messed up because <laughs> I will show up and, and I will show up in pictures all over the internet from this bachelor party in a obnoxious looking speedo at stadium swim. And I will be in it all day. Uh, and I would encourage it. I think I think that would really throw our opponent off guard. And I think um, they'd be distracted. That's like pre-snap motion right there. Pre-snap motion with a couple shifts in between there too. 
also something they probably never seen before. Yeah, they probably have seen it. They probably have seen it. You know, they've they've definitely seen it. They've but definitely uh, seen it. the real question is, can we get you to drink more than two alcoholic beverages on that day? On Saturday, at Stadium Swim, all day long. The line is set at. I think two and a half is a good line. Gonna, like, what's gonna the line make, for you? We're gonna make the over happen. The over for me? Fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> that's that's low. <laughs> it's low. Uh, you, it's not all you can drink, is it? I mean, it's at not, some point, it's a financial decision as well. Ah, there's, let me there's tell no you financial considerations. Yeah, going Grant. This week. Okay. If, if you would see the itinerary on this thing, and I'm not again, I'm not going to give details here. I don't think financials are being taken into consideration at all. Yeah, you know what? Actually, uh, I I think that's smart. You know, bachelor party and uh, in Vegas, money doesn't exist that weekend. It's, I it, think that's smart. It, it apparently does not with the itinerary. It's, it's all monopoly money when you're out there. Uh, but no, I would definitely take the over on that. You know, there was. Who do you think's the for- biggest drinker in the group? Is it you? Like on a, mm. in the element, right? Like it's a it's in in this in this type of situation. It's a bachelor party, especially it's yours. Is there a bigger drinker than you in this situation, or are you the guy here? Are you saying just because it's my bachelor party, am I going to be the biggest drinker? Or Would you go on any given a- Saturday? Who is the biggest drinker in the group? That's what I'm asking. That's the latter. Uh, no, I would. Hmm. You don't have to name names if you don't want to, but I just wanted to know if it was you or not. I don't think it's it's mm, in 2024. I don't think it's me. No. Okay. Could have been you at one point though. I don't think so because I've come. I've everybody's come down, come down a little bit, but I feel like everyone else has come down quite a bit. I I'm not I'm not number one. I know that. Okay. Okay. What is the odds? What this is fun. We could put a we could put odds on your entire bachelor party weekend. For sure. For sure. Um, what are the odds that someone will? vomiting odds for this trip how, how how sick is there gonna be some real sickness liability oh it's minus 2000 that's oh my gosh oh god so this is really a and i know this is what everybody wanted to hear about tonight but this really is how slow the night's gonna go we're, ta- we're gonna talk about caitlin clark a little bit she's broken some other records uh since we have last i think mentioned her uh the combine was going down and maybe we'll we'll talk about the combine a little bit too but this is fun this is this is fun talk for me so kev obviously you know me i don't uh well this is the second bachelor party that i'll have ever been to um not including your own not including my own hmm. and the other one was gimbals and like we we went to the like the local town bar and it was like fun you know i had a couple shots but like it was in no way, shape, or form like a Vegas uh, size deal. It's gonna be a little different, yeah. And uh, there was no like stadium swim. There was no like big time golf. It was it was like you know we went disc golfing, which was fun. And uh, I'm never one to judge how another man wants to spend his weekend. Right, and I'm not. I'm, this I know is you guys are big in your disc golf. So love, the disc golf. Yeah. love the disc golf. Love the disc golf. Maybe someday. Uh, speaking of golf events, we could put together a little disc golf event little informal disc golf event. That would be fun for the walk-ons. Um, this is all to say that I, I don't really get it myself into these situations, Kevin. So I, I am, uh, I'm out of my element and I'm th- this, the party itself, just the group of guys that are going, it's going to be a entertainment for me to watch the rest of you. Like I am excited just for that. Yeah, yeah, no, it, uh, it's like I said, I think we got a solid roster. Uh, we just got to highlight our attributes there. And, uh, you know, role players such as yourself just kind of maybe have to stay out of the way. Just do your yeah. job. You know, yep. don't try to do too much. Um, yeah, there's no reason for the ball to be in my hands much at all. No, we, we don't want the ball in your hands, really. No. We just, when the ball comes to you, we need you to make the play, but we don't need you trying to. Very trying similar to how my role was on the Hawks, actually. You know, yeah. I. I might so. get six. I might get six plays a game, and it's important when I get those opportunities, right? And I'll make the most of it, and I'll just go. I'll fly, you know. I'll fly silent in the night. And no one will really notice me, and it, it'll be a good time. And I'll and I'll play the role. Um, I'll be honest. This, I mean, this is. <sighs> I'm su- I'm surprised by how many dudes have never actually like 
Dona Vegas weekend in that group though. Really? It's just because I'm I'm fucked up and I've been there like eight times and I'm 29 years old. Um, I I'd say you're probably it's that's probably not abnormal for someone 29 who <laughs> likes to. But uh, so you say you've never been, right? Never been. Josie's been, but he's never like been there for a week. You right. played the Raiders. Oh um, yeah, that that, that don't count. Uh, my brother in law's never been. Um. Mm trying to think who else someone else said like they've never done like a real Bo maybe i don't think bo's like maybe never done that like sounds a... that sounds right i don't know if bo's been uh, how many guys 12 or 13 it's a pretty big squad uh i think 12 i think i got the uh i will say this i'm very excited for dinner on friday very excited yeah, that's, I, that's, I, it might be my my what i'm most excited about could be the highlight of the weekend and uh I'm excited and, to and play. You know what? And you know what? Honestly, I'm a little bit jealous of you for going on that run that morning. You're going to have quite the appetite worked up. Like, I, I'm going to. You're going to burn some cows on the golf course, though. I I'm mean, going to burn a lot of calories. I'm going to sweat a lot too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hot, just want to be. I want to be really hungry going in that dinner. Oh yeah. And uh, I just want to be able to take full advantage because it's, it's going to be a pretty pretty liquid diet on that Friday before that meal. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. it. Keep it light. I, you're right. I am going to earn. I'm going to be, dude, I'm going to be deep in, uh, I'll have less than a month out. What do you, this, where are you running? Are you running outside or are you running just at the line of treadmill? I, I plan to wake up around the time you guys leave and kind of run when it's cooler out. Um, it's watch a 10 mile. The, uh, watch out for the crackheads. There's, yeah, there's some crackheads out there, huh? There, there's, there's, there's a couple. It's not, it's not terrible, but, uh, it shouldn't be at seven 30 in the morning, right? They hide in the tunnels anyway. Where do you think they sleep, brother? Are they do, do crackheads wake up early? Or are they sleeping at that time? What do you think? Uh, just kind of random. But, I mean, uh, hard to imagine they have a good sleep regimen. Yeah, it can't be too consistent. They got right? they got their whoops on. They can make sure they get one hundred percent recovery. <laughs> no, Vegas isn't tent city, but you you will see them on the trip. Sure. Um, yeah, I was. I think I'll be okay. You know, I can fend for myself. Um, Ideally, I'm not the guy that people, you know, running down the street would choose to to mess with, but who knows? Um, it is a 10 miler that day. We will be, I mean, we're 10 weeks deep into a 14 week prep at that point. And so I'm like basically in peak mileage that week. Um, so we got we got a we got a solid 10 on that Friday. Uh so that's a good hour and a half, you know, probably at zone two pace. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, the thing that's if you if you get up early and do it, it's it's really not that hot. Yeah, until the sun yeah. gets up, you know. It's really interesting in the desert how how actually like nice and cool it gets at night, and then the drastic difference and in the morning. But yeah, uh, you know, it shouldn't be that bad that time of year. Yeah, but well, like, I want you guys. I, I I'd like you guys to all come back in one piece from the golf course as well. Well, that's also strategic, man. I'm like, we're twenty nine. We're not. We're not 23 anymore, so that's uh, it's not in the itinerary, but it's kind of it, there's nap time built in there. Oh no, no, no! There, it certainly was in the itinerary. It said recover on the itinerary. It said recover. It didn't say nap, but uh, 29 year old needs a nap. 29 year old need, needs a nap after a few pops and four hours on the golf course, man. I'll tell you this: uh, the the uh, and Grant, this is relevant to you because again, we're recording on your birthday. Happy birthday, by the way, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Any I'm gifts that you've got? Twenty one dollars, but he won't tell me how. I'll give it to you. I'll I'll, I'll text you. Um, I will. Uh, I will say this: as as you get older, your ability to go at the same level at the same intensity, I think, at least in working out, stays the same for for longer than you think. It's the ability to do it day after day. It's that. It's that repeatability factor. Um, in my own training, it's really a it's really a, a a story of we've got one what you'd call like high day, and then the other days are kind of low. You kind of come in and you get your your low intensity work in your you know, some plot you know so, some low end plyos not nothing suit you know you have the power day. And then you have sort of a, a base building day. And that's that's how I see it probably for drinking as well. Like you can go hard one night, 
But it's not a Thursday, Friday, Saturday thing like it was no, in college. No, no, no. Th- those, I mean, I've been to a few of those bachelor parties where it was a Thursday night and all day Friday and all day Saturday. And, you know, building You're out. You're dead this, by Sunday. Building out. I mean, back in the day, like you, you were you were hurting on Sunday, but, you know. You could you rally. Still, yeah, we could we could really go back then, all right? Yeah. Oh, should I? Yeah. You know, back in 17, out. okay? Yeah. We, we, we got the numbers from... Uh, from the GPS now, we, we we know we can't perform at that level anymore. Okay, we see the data; it's coming. We're gonna down. be smart about this, okay? All right, we're gonna be smart. We're gonna take care of you guys, okay? But when we need to go, we gotta go, okay? We gotta get our work in when it's time to get our work in. But we're gonna take care of you. So yeah, I do. Um, I do think this group has has the ability to really go. I think we can be humming on that Saturday. And, and that's what that's kind of what what we're 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 kind of building towards, right? Yeah. Right. So it's a good. We're gonna we're gonna have a. We're gonna have What's kind the, of a low key Thursday. Yeah. We're gonna have a prime recession on Friday morning. A little re- recovery session, big recovery session Friday night. Yeah. With yeah. uh, you know, big refuel. And then on Saturday, we gotta be humming. Gotta be humming on Saturday. Over under on the amount of just irresponsible bet bets that are made on <laughs> on Saturday. It's gonna be so many, dude. So I actually don't plan on gambling a whole lot outside of Saturday. And on Saturday, I want to bet on everything. I everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that's happening in the world. I'm going to bet. I'm probably like when we first put our order in with the waitress, how long it takes her to get back. Yeah. I want to yeah. bet on oh. everything. that day. Let, Dude, should I bring a notebook? We'll get some side bets going within the group. We can yeah, start absolutely. our own. Yeah. yeah that, that's a good idea. I'm excited about it. I, I'm, yeah. we're, we're having fun with it right now, talking about it, but legitimately – I probably think about it five out of seven days a week, at least. It's your Roman Empire. Oh yeah, right now it is for sure. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm uh, glad. I'm glad you're excited. I hope, I hope everyone else is just as excited because uh, it should be a good time. It will. I be. think this is, um, you know, Drake's. God knows if he ever gets married or not, but uh, this might be the last, uh, the last batch in the group, man. So we gotta make, we gotta do it right. There's odds. There's odds that that is that it is. Yeah, I don't see. Well, I don't know if Drake gets married. I really don't. Uh, like my all my close high school and home friends, they're all married too. So like this, this very well may be the last bachelor party I go on. Yeah, I've got one more plus my brothers. So I guess I I probably have three more legitimate ones. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Grant, you're 22. Yep. Uh, just after, just about this time last year, you were getting your getting your feet wet. You're a couple months into working with the walk-ons at that point. Just about, yeah. And you're just so much more comfortable this year. Really become part of the show. No longer student intern, dub, dubbed by me. You're you're now the official producer of the show. I'm just giving you that title. Oh wow, thank you. Comes with no raise, no money, and no extra responsibility. So congratulations. Wow. You can hey, take you know, the title. Sure. You can take that title of the bank, though. I mean, not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no. And I will say this: uh, the numbers have showed it. We just talked about numbers. Kevin just talked about how we got a good squad. I mean, we got a good squad here at the walk-ons too. Liability in Drake, but I think the other three of us are pretty solid. Uh, and Grant has been pulling his weight lately. Uh, the the TikTok and the Instagram going absolutely berserk recently. Is that right? Oh yeah, TikTok. TikTok. We're on, we had a. Uh, we're on the Dallas. Chinese app. Oh yeah. The Chinese love us. We're huge. In China. Um, yeah. It's actually, it's a big, big part of our relationships in uh, Beijing. So yeah. yeah. All right. Walk-ons have a ton of strong business partnerships in, uh, in uh, a lot of the Chinese yeah. cities. Like John Cena. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever see that South Park episode where it's like, they're trying to sell like a music video in China? No. Oh, I don't remember that one. Oh, well, it's a good one. Go. I'll go Let's look it up out. after this. Anyway, the uh, one of the Dallas clips is uh, I saw had like sixty or seventy thousand views uh, today, and you just like you just put it up. The Instagram Ooh. has blown up. I mean, we just crossed four thousand recently, and we're at like forty seven hundred. We're we're on the we're on the rise to five k oh. on the Insta. So love that. YouTube's been doing better than ever. It's just it's a good time to be part of the Walk On Army. It really is. We're we're glad to have you, Grant, and we're glad that uh, you made it to another year twenty two. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, I'm, your, I'm happy to be here. Is this your Taylor Swift year? 22. Folklore? Uh, oh, wait. 20, doesn't she have Sorry. something like with 22 or something? She does. Yeah, I was joking. But uh, I, guess, I guess. I don't know. It's also, uh, I'm trying to think of 
a different 22. It's not coming to mind, though. Are there any other good 22s in sports? I mean, next year's your Jordan year. That's yeah, huge. Right. Uh, I don't know. There's 22 is a big lacrosse number if you're if you're familiar. But is it? Uh, it is. Yeah, it's my the, freshman basketball number University. as well. Oh well, it's the Kluver freshman basketball team year. Did you put up a lot that of numbers? Was a hell of hopefully, a year, brother. hopefully, I'm in for a good year. Hell of a year. A lot of double doubles. Smart dude, play. I was, a, I was a stud freshman year. Setting hard screens, maybe. That was oh, dude, so many. Yeah, so many. I got a lot of fouls. Uh, what's uh, what's the move tonight, Grantley? Are you going to uh, to Spoko to get your pitchers or what? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of. You have a week, right? Is that still the rule? You have a week within your birthday to get your pitchers. Uh, I'm not sure. I've every time I've gone, it's just been on the day, so I'm not exactly so you're, sure. So you're going tonight. So he's going tonight. It's a post pod pitcher night. I might. I don't know. i also part of me just wants to get like Culver's and watch Curb Your Enthusiasm in my room. But um, absolutely, I don't know. Unbelievable. Which Culver's? Do you, do you go to the one on the south side? Uh, I go to the one like right off of Riverside, if that's what you're referring to. But, yeah, yeah, right over there. Kind of guy kind of sounded good as well. So maybe we'll see. Dude, Culver's rocks, man. Yeah, it's, had, it, had it on Culver's Sunday. rocks, but Barstool uh, Iowa put out a, a tweet. Get Dude, Mortillo's to come to Iowa City. Saw and that. I've been saying it for years, man. It would crush. There's so many Chicago kids here that would just mainline Portillo's. I've still never oh, right to the bloodstream. But you know what else? I saw a tweet that the old Caps getting a raisin canes. Yeah, it's going right where uh, the Freddies used to be. Or Freddies is apparently new as well. I didn't know there was a. Uh, so the like Freddy's I, and the old cap's been there for years now. Well, I mean, it's like it got there after you guys graduated, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, I mean, it, I think 2021 was the first year it was there. It could be so wait, off. Freddy's is leaving and they're getting Raising Canes in that location? Raising Canes, right there. Oh, there's a Freddy's off of, right by the Vine, too. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah there's one over there. There's, there's a couple of Freddy's. There's, there's, there's a Raising right. Canes over in Corville now, too. So, what? But I do I do enjoy a good Raising Canes. Uh, right. who's, is it George who's a big Raising Canes fan? Is that his thing? Uh, no, I believe he's a panda guy. Well, he's a panda guy, but he, he also had like some special Raisin Cane's order too, I think. Probably. Yeah, it wouldn't. wouldn't tell oh, you know what? Out. Yeah, he said, um, instead of coleslaw, you ask for another piece of bread and you make a sandwich out of it. Oh, that yeah. is the move. Mm -hmm. Absolutely the move. Yeah. You make like, it's almost like a little hot dog in a way. Yeah, you, you tell him to. You tell is him a hot to... dog a sandwich, Grant? It's actually a pastry. I'm glad you asked. I wrote <laughs> a, a paper on this. It technically falls into the category of pastry. Is that because it's a... Uh... Bread. Did you actually write a paper on this? No. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't put have it. I, don't, I have no idea what they teach in school. It wouldn't days. have surprised me. It wouldn't have wouldn't surprised, surprised me. me. Yeah, it's my college thesis was, is a hot dog a sandwich? No, like there was actually like a high school paper is like, write a persuasive essay on a topic of your choosing. I can totally see you writing that a uh, hot dog is a pastry. I think I did. Those. I think I did like Rob Manfred, Manford should be fired as baseball commissioner. Was what I did. <laughs> That's so year. you. That's so you, dude. That's unbelievable. I, I had to present it to just a class that was so unamused. <laughs> they were just not interested at Is all. Is there a I lot remember. of Rockies love in, in Denver? The Rockies? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. they were they were into it. This was at Iowa though, so they were. Oh, okay. They they're not thrilled. Really don't care. Yeah. I took a I took a speaking and reading class freshman year at Iowa, and we had to do like a, I don't know if it was called a persuasive speech, but it was it was somewhere somewhere along this is that what it line. Was. Yeah, this is the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. I had to do a. I don't remember what my topic was, but I don't think I persuaded anybody on anything. Yeah. Uh, if I could persuade you though, going to the food thing, what if we just saved a small portion? of the Patreon money each month until we can afford to buy a Chick-fil-A in Iowa City and all become billionaires. Like open up a franchise? Mm -hmm. Yes. Fun fact, um, cost you zero dollars to open up a Chick-fil-A franchise. Even better. They, they cover up, they cover all the startup costs. There's like a lottery system to get chosen as a franchise. I was going to say, I think it's not that easy though. Like you have to literally like apply and... And, and also they, um, I've read a whole article about this because like, <laughs> It's it's a tier one fast food restaurant, right? And they print money. Yeah. So there's a lot of demand to be a franchisee, sure. right? right? So there's like a lottery system, and they also they want you to be like you are managing, like that is your job yeah. is to work at that. Yeah. Um, that that's gonna be an that's gonna be an issue for me. Yeah. You can't podcast from the Chick Fil A. <laughs> well, then that 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 would be revolutionary. Imagine the first Chick Fil A where we just in the back room, like the office is just a podcast studio, and like you know, 
if if we if we got <laughs> if the washed up walk ons opened up a Chick fil A and Drake was <laughs> in there working, <laughs> Chick fil A <laughs> would get ten complaints on the first day and come oh, and yeah. shut the whole thing down. Dude, if someone had if someone had any problem, hours Drake of would operation. Just be, he'd be jumping the counter, punching people. I can just imagine we're trying to record a podcast. I'm sorry, you're too stupid to understand you ordered number yeah. four and not a crispy chicken. <laughs> These were just in the back trying to talk about like the game, like the middle of the season. Yeah, man. Like Katie just he threw it a little bit off. Hey, boss, where's the extra Chick fil A sauce? Uh, it's around the corner, Jimmy. Yep. Anyway, my I don't know what Tim Lester was doing on that call. Like, just imagine, like, we're just it's we're just the most dynamic business there ever was. Well, then too, it'd be the walk on live. You can come see it. it's the in house entertainment. Oh yeah, and but and then we it's it's a double thing because you come see us and we get your your business as a Chick-fil-A customer. It's a it's a two for one. Man, this is really turning into more of a better idea than I thought. Yeah, it's just a really a shame that the one in Corval is like in the mall. It's not like a drive through or nothing. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, anyway, that's exciting news. Uh other things popping up in Iowa City. Uh Caitlin Clark owns the town. Uh they're just putting up building size posters. Of Caitlin. Yeah, this is like um like second grade where like if you write your name on something, it's yours. And the, yeah, apparently she owns like the edge and the downtown parking garage. And uh yep. yeah, so she she's now officially the mayor. I think that that's how our city's charter works. So I think she is now the mayor of Iowa City. Um, that makes sense. And since Iowa City used to be the capital of Iowa, I think she's also the governor. Um too so and since iowa is the first to vote for president uh, she, she, she probably really, she's probably also the president now too yeah it, it feels like it and since uh, america is the most powerful country in the world so now she's just the ruler of the if, world if caitlin ran against uh who's a who's a uh governor reynolds is that who it is yeah yep. that is the governor yeah <laughs> I almost said Brandstad. Uh, used to be the governor. Long time ago. Do you think Caitlin would win? Um, she, she'd get votes. I mean, I, I would. I, the, the debate would be awesome where her response to every question is just, well, I shoot three pointers. What do you do? <laughs> what if What if it was just Jack crazy, Campbell? Here's, here's the crazy thing um, is I think that she would she could give zero political speeches. Right. Not take a stance on any single issue, and probably still get at least ten percent of the vote. I think she'd get ten percent, man. I maybe I'm delusional for thinking, <laughs> but I, I legitimately think like, you I, know, actually, well, is this like in a primary setting or is this in the general election? Because half the people are going to vote against the the sitting governor anyway. You're right. You're right. Uh, so is that ten percent enough to push her over the edge? That's the real question. That's what I'm saying. Is like if if she's what is uh, I think. Uh, Reynolds is uh, is a Republican, so if if Caitlyn just designated herself, I don't know if she's Republican or Democrat, but she designated herself uh, a Democrat. She she probably wins the goddamn thing. Don't give anyone any ideas. <laughs> and then eventually, the political ads too. Eventually, it's Jack Campbell, Caitlyn Clark, on the ticket in like you know twenty forty. It is twenty twenty four. Twenty forty. Oh, 2040. Oh, okay. And there are there are president, vice president. I I I would be I would feel more comfortable in that world than I do now. We gotta reach back out to Jack and see uh see if his uh his gubernatorial dreams are still on the table. Yeah, we can. I'm I'm sure he'd come back on. Um but how about that, man? Like, can you imagine, Kev, like Josie get like they put him up on Kinnick, right? They put Wurfs on Kinnick, they but that's like the stadium they played in, and it's like, yeah, you know, it's like university, and there's there's always been posters of someone on those four corners, right? Yeah, but like over the entire parking garage, dude, and it's not even the university doing it. That's Nike. That's Nike, Nike in Iowa City property. <laughs> I mean, what is going on? Uh, she yeah, did it's, it's awesome too. How they uh, they kind of connected them together. Oh, so sick. That's a, and, and then the whole thing is like, this was never a long shot. And it's literally like the poster to poster is like, I don't know, an entire city block. Yeah. 
She, uh, I don't think we've talked about it since uh, since it's happened, but she did declare for the WNBA, so she will not be. I think it's the right move. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's interesting today is I saw that the networks had some initial talks about actually combining to to put a NIL deal together for. Her. Did you see Just, that at uh, all? Keep her in college. Keep the network ratings high. Fox and CBS and all these places. As as I, I guess it happened like within the last month, and then her decision kind of nixed it. Mm because they just weren't for for uh far enough along in the talks and the ideas but like yeah the, the networks legitimately thought and started talking like hey do you guys want to put together a little package here for Caitlin because of what she's doing numby wise because as as many numbies as we do here at the wash up walk-ons god damn does Caitlin do numbies nobody does numbies like Caitlin Iowa basketball Iowa women's basketball Holds the I just saw this graphic the other day. Holds the top watched women's basketball game on six different networks or something like that. And maybe it's just like the top basketball uh, it, man, of all I time would. or just this year. All time, top women's basketball game rating of all time on six different networks. The Hawks. Damn. It's been a Hawks game every single time because they're coming to see Caitlin. Um, it's like Peacock, CBS. Like it was, it was nuts. Uh, I wonder if uh, the networks are going to try to, eh, they're probably locked into long-term deals, but I was going to say if, uh, you know, with her moving to WNBA and anticipating her growing that sport, like she has women's college basketball, if they're going to pay a higher premium for WNBA. Well, coverage. yeah. Right. Like how many fever? Cause she's going to get drafted first. So she's going to the fever. Which I oh, think yeah, is you cool. see that they tweeted out like right after she announced. Oh, that she dude, the, they're they're so stoked over there. Their their social media department like has tripled the output of their content in the last three weeks since they figured this out because they get Caitlin Clark, dude. They they just walked into they just stepped. They also got Aaliyah Boston first last year, and I could be mistaken on this, but I thought I saw somewhere that she was like rookie of the year last year in the league. Um, now I'm pretty sure the team's still dog shit. Yeah, I mean, it's it, you gotta be pretty dog shit to get back to back number one overall. Yeah, yeah you gotta be bad. You gotta be bad. You know, you, you get two rookie of the years in a row. You know, and then you start to build something. Develop. Yeah, you, two 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 damn good basketball players can really change a franchise. Well, and not only that, but Aaliyah Boston's a post and Caitlin's a guard. So now you've got something on the inside, something on the outside. It's gonna be. I'm I'm very interested to to see how Caitlin's game transfers to the WNBA. I will be watching. Like, I'm certainly going to watch. I will watch Indiana Fever games occasionally because... I mean, I don't see how just nailing threes from anywhere on the court doesn't transfer. Right? Like, like I, I think you you can see how bigs can be really good in college, both men's and women's. Yeah. And not completely transfer over to the NBA, WNBA. Different game. Different game. Uh, I mean, shooting, shooting. Curry's proven that. Yeah, no shit. So, you gonna get a jersey? Come on, Grant. <laughs> you know better, bud. Well, whoa, 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 going back to that, you guys, hot take on that. You were talking about another man's name on the. Oh, back. interesting point, Kevin. Interesting. Oh. Does that? You think I'm gonna wear a woman's <laughs> name on my? <laughs> Does Clover support women? Yes or no? <laughs> Answers clearly no. Sexist. Um, you know what? It's a funny. That's a funny thing. Uh, maybe I would be more inclined to wear a, a Clark jersey than like a a McNamara jersey or something like that. I don't know. Um, the where do you draw the line? Because like I see the twenty two her um, sweatshirts, the Barbie sweatshirts, shirts yeah. all over the place. Yeah, but it doesn't have her name on it. Do you draw the line there? Um, yeah, interesting question. You're just talking about me personally, like uh, as yeah, far well, as merch. Drake's not here to answer it, so as far, yeah, what well, I yeah, as far as merchandise goes, you're saying I don't yeah, know. Like, you I guys' thing is like wearing another dude's jersey is weird. I don't. Uh, hmm. It's in, that's interesting. I I don't really know. I my initial thought was just sort of considering jerseys. Uh. So if it's not actually a jersey, it's not weird. If it's a T-shirt of a jersey, 
Uh, that's even worse. I'd rather wear a jersey. Like it's like okay, we'll just. Oh, well, you know, it. like the, it's like a fake jersey. You don't like the jersey? <laughs> the jersey. How many jerseys do you have, Grant? Two. Okay. I'm trying to think right now about how many pieces of clothing I have that uh, that are based on somebody else's name or image or likeness. And the answer is currently, I, I think maybe technically you could say one. The Jack Campbell, the Campbell Inger shirts count. True. True. So I have one. Or the, <laughs> or the, and the, the G bone shirt. Uh, it's yeah. my face. So how does it not count? <laughs> it counts. <laughs> I don't, did I get one with your face on it? Dude, I think. Oh, I, no. I don't think. I don't know if. Oh, like, that's that's heartbreaking. Oh, oh no. It's I. Well, here's the deal. His birthday. At least lie to the man. I have three with your face on it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, and it's it's actually one of them just hangs in my the, the master bedroom. Um, I don't know if I need to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know, Kev. Uh, I, I, I did think that the. Um, the Nike shirt that they came out with that was just like the simple Nike swoosh and it said, you break it, you own it. Now you awesome. see that? That Good. was a sick shirt. The, the white one that they just came out with was yeah. like her shooting. Yeah. Now, if you go to, I went to shields yesterday and the Iowa section over there, it's like, it's a white out of just that shirt. Everywhere. That's a cool, it's a cool shirt. It's a cool shirt. Um, I'm just, I just, I just don't, you know, like I just don't wear those. I don't know. Nothing against it for other people's decisions, other people's preferences. It's just a personal thing, my own insecurities. Um, but how how hard would it have been if they would if the networks would have come to her and been like, hey, five million. million for you. Five million. They would have had to come up with more than a million. Dude, her her nil valuation just came out from like on three or whatever. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a website that does college sports stuff, and uh, they estimate like three point one million per year is her nil value. Yeah, but that's nil value that can continue on to the WNBA. This would be a hey, it's a million dollars to stay yeah. for a year for one because year. Yeah, yeah, for to, for one year. Yeah, and I don't know. You know if you got $3 million, I don't care. A million dollars is still a million dollars. Oh yeah. I, I get it. I I'm telling you, like I, she's got good for her to be in that position because wow. I mean, unbelievable. So who knows? Uh, I think it's, it's cool that she's going to Vegas, man. Should we get Caitlin to come to the bachelor party? Yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Just make some outrageous bets, uh, with her money. Well, hopefully we can get her to come on the podcast. I think, uh, I think that, I mean, be season be over by then, right? Yes. By the time you're, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like her going to Indiana. It's, it's like very Iowa ish, you know, it's not like a big, yeah. Just the other side of Illinois. Yeah. It's not a big market. It's not, it's not LA. It's not like, you know, she can still be like a Midwestern, like the people can buy in super heavy. They don't have like, you know, a million different things to worry about. It's like, no, like we're, I mean, dude, McAfee's talked about her on the show, like daily for the last three weeks. Like they're all in on Caitlin Clark. It's so sick. Why wouldn't you be right? I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I also feel like it's a, just a good landing spot for, yeah. it's hard to get in trouble in Indianapolis. Not, Unless you're that, not insinuating in any way, shape, or form, that that should, but like 23 year olds can do a lot of dumb stuff in New York and LA. And just like Indianapolis, like it's a little bit more low key of a town. You know, Kev, you're not going to, you, it's going to be hard to find the wrong crowd to hang out with in Indianapolis. Kev, let's, let's roll back the clock and let's say that you and I, circa 2016, 2017, our pizza reviews just take off, right? Hmm. NIL's a thing. So, I mean, we just, you know, pizza places all over the place are just like, hey, we want to put you in a Domino's commercial. We want to put you in a, you know, whatever. We get big deals. Now, all of a sudden, you and I have a a combined, it's a duo, it's a it's a partner thing, mm. package deal. But, like, we, we've all of a sudden, we've got $3 million. 
right. what are the odds we get in trouble with that oh <laughs> uh, hi yeah yeah something at least a little we would have ridden the line a little bit brother we were making nothing and we almost got in trouble quite a bit of times too yeah, yeah you're right you're right <laughs> I, you look at it that way and you're like, damn, I think Caitlin might be like the person for this to have had happen to because she seems just so responsible. Like, I just care about ball, you know? I don't know. It's also possible that $3 million straightens you out. It's like, I got a lot to lose right now. So probably True. stay on the straight and narrow. But uh, yeah, when you're 22 and you don't have a whole lot of money and it's like, hey, let's do some dumb stuff. But also, eh, I, I don't think the money makes a difference. It's probably just the person. You're probably right. I think it's one of those things where it, it just it just exposes you to the more of the more extreme. Who you are. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Well, uh, what else? I, I mean, the combine happened. Uh, Cooper, when he uh, was with us, uh, he actually on the on the low on the DL after the podcast was like, "Hey, don't cut out the part where I'm not gonna." So I actually cut that from the interview. He was like, I'm not going to run at the combine. Uh, turns out he didn't do any of the drills at the combine. And uh, probably smart. There's He's not the only one. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, I find it actually interesting that more guys don't just do Why nothing. would you? I mean, what? you got you got some guys that are taking off like the last three or four games of the college football season. Like, what does the combine like, matter? I'm good. Yeah. Why? What would the combine do for you? I think pro day is a smart day to train for. I think if you're one of those super high end top guys, you treat the combine as a as an opportunity to get in front of teams in the meeting room. For sure. For sure. That's, yeah. That's it. And I, yeah. And, and pro day, like you get another four weeks after the season to to train you know a lot of those guys came from like uh senior bowl and like mm -hmm. east west shrine and all that stuff so, like didn't really have a whole lot of time to just solely focus on running fast jumping high and bench pressing so like pro day gives you another four weeks to to kind of do that and also you know cooper is still coming off that injury from uh yeah from the fall so yeah i uh, it's absolutely the right decision not to not to run. But I just if you're one of those high if you, I mean if you're a first rounder potentially, there's a reason that you're being projected there. And it's because what you've put on tape is really good. Right? Which like yeah, which absolutely should be the number one priority factor in your your draft stock, right? Is what can you do on the field? Like if you go and run a four five five or a four four five at that point who cares like you've got the tape just it doesn't matter right and i think pro day is a good spot to do it because pro day is a little bit more under your control the combine isn't at, from you you listen to guys i, I remember listening i mean josie to, says is like the worst two days of his life worst experience he's ever had you're wait you're up at four in the morning they're basically poking and prodding you're, you like, deprived, you're deprived. they don't get fed like that much like you're like starving the whole time so like they're you're eating, not dude they're eating not bread. in a position to put your best numbers out there no not even close you're actually literally in the worst position they're, they give you like a bagel and cream cheese at, like in the in the hotel lobby like in there and then they're like hey go run the fastest 40 you've ever like it's just not conducive at all i, I wouldn't do it and this is coming from a, a long snapper <laughs> who's five ted and if i would have been invited to the combine you bet your ass i would have been in some in some compression shorts and a tight shirt and i would have done every single event baby but saying that yeah <laughs> uh but if i was a top pick i wouldn't do it i would just wouldn't do it um, doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. And, uh, Logan Lee, oh, go ahead, sorry. Logan Lee did some combine. I think Tori was doing some combine. Uh, Logan actually responded to me, said he'd love to come on the show. So we're going to get that set up here soon. Logan Lee would be a fantastic conversation. Absolutely. Um, Dog. Dog. Uh, actually, funny enough, I talked to, uh, talked to Pat Anger today and he said he did 32 reps at 225 last week. Last week, yeah, good lord. What did he do uh, back? Do, does he know what he did like back for like pro day or combine? I don't know. I said, dude, did you really do 32 reps? And he goes, yeah, but it's a lot easier when you don't weigh 225 pounds. Pat's good like, point. Pat's, you know, 
Yeah, Pat's bigger now. So and Pat, Pat, little, Pat put on a little bit of weight. There's a little. He he's he's walking around at maybe a little rounder than he did when he was walking around the streets of Indianapolis as a Colt. So, but that's I do. I was like, that's still really impressive. Thirty two reps. I don't care how fat you are. Like, oh yeah, that's that's some strength. Uh, no, we were getting in touch with him about being one of the uh, one of the celebs at the golf tournament, but um. Yeah, man. Uh, I we gotta we gotta get some more guests scheduled here, but shows you know we're, we're cooking, we're cooking with with heat. Um, you guys got anything else exciting we can talk about tonight, or should we just wrap this puppy up? I want to hear more about uh, mom's birthday plans. What? Yeah, any great gifts? Did mom send you a birthday card? A couple twenty dollar bills? What, what what's going on? Over uh, there? I'm gonna I'm gonna see mom and dad here uh, soon because uh, I'm okay. gonna be back in Denver for a few oh, days. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spring break. Uh, for oh yeah, day. spring break's next week. Yeah, just so, going uh, home, or are we doing anything? Uh, going to see the fam for a little bit, and then I'm going to Phoenix actually for uh, the back end. With, the back end. So, gonna hang uh, with Drake. Gonna hang out with Drake. I did. I think we were talking about. It. I think we're gonna try to do something at some Let's point. Go. I don't know if it's uh, <laughs> poker or don't let him take you to the jiu gym. Don't let him take you to the gym. I don't think I'm going to the jiu gym, but <laughs> I'd like to see Drake. I got. I'll, I'll talk to him. I'm talking to him tomorrow, so I'll, I'll probably. Uh, Ask him about it there, but yeah, I don't know. Anything, Spring uh, break, senior year, man. Then your your time's coming up. How's it feel? Um, uh, do you want the honest answer, or do you want yes? The give me the because yes. the honest one is that I'm having a panic attack every single yep, day. Yep, it, yep. That like, oh my gosh, there's the real world is finally here. I can't just mess around all, all the time anymore. Yep. Uh, but the diplomatic answer is, hey, you know, it's been a great run. I'm just so grateful for my time at the <laughs> university, friends and family. It's been so beautiful here. Uh, yeah. These. The sole reason that I trained for the NFL is because I did not want to start <laughs> the real world yet. Yeah. I, I wanted another four or five months of just kind of fucking around, pretending I'm an athlete. Yeah, and it's it's weird too because you know you don't want to uh, like no one wants to do nine to five or anything, right? Or like no one wants to do school, but it's like oh shoot, like school's actually not that bad. School's not that bad, man. But if you find a job uh, that you uh, like, it's yeah. it's it's not that bad either. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Yeah, I, I yeah, I would say if you find a career, or something that you can do that at least you have some passion about, it's better than school. But that's my opinion. Um, yeah, no, it would be cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know, and I'm still trying to figure all that out uh, and a lot of life stuff. But it is what it is. I remember thinking back in like fourth grade, like, dude, I still have. 10 plus years of school left this is ass <laughs> it was so bad and i liked school back then like it was like damn well, it's, it's weird Dude, too, fourth and it's... fifth grade might have been peak school that was peak school then for sure oh, you guys do four square four square, four square? I, Hell yeah. everything four four square yeah. yeah uh no too and it's uh it's weird because you assume like school is never gonna end because it's like all i've ever done right school. yeah yeah it's all yeah you and know. when you finally get yeah. to the point you're like oh my god i don't I don't have to go to school anymore, dude. I, I still think about that. It's been, God damn, it's been seven years. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think the weirdest thing is when summer breaks no longer a thing. It's like, yeah, it's middle yeah. July. What am I working 40 hours a week for? <laughs> well, it, yeah, it's true. I kind of get it a little bit because Lauren's a teacher. So she does still have a summer break. So our uh, schedule, yeah. yeah. And then you get back into the flow of like, well, now I have a kid. It's like, they're going to be in school and they'll have like the school year schedule. So it's like, wow, life really comes back around. Um, True. All right. Well, oh, can, I share one, can I share a combine note? Absolutely. Did you guys like the guy who said he doesn't believe in space? Wow. That guy's falling on my draft board. That <laughs> dude, if you say that, I told Lauren that if you say that in an interview, teams should automatically knock you down the list of players they should drink. one, you can't one draft round that guy. one at least one round <laughs> dude you don't believe in down. space does it does is it better that he also said or other planets no no it's worse, it's worse. <laughs> how is this i mean i get that it's far out no uh, pun tyler intended. tyler owens potential like, nfl uh, draft pick yeah defensive love, back right or what yeah db yeah 37 don't love tackles the namesake Tells me that he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't want any part dude, of him. dude. You're in a 10 3 8 in the hundred hole. Don't yeah. care. Red flag. Doesn't believe in planets, bro. Doesn't believe in planets. How the hell do you expect the guy to believe in cover two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was 
I thought that was funny. Tell you what, man, if this guy planets? can't, if this guy doesn't believe in planets rotating around the the solar system, how is he going to talk about rotating on the defense? I tell you what, <laughs> call, call, don't let Colin Coward see this. He's going to be pissed oh, when he God. finds out that this guy doesn't believe in planets. That was that was wild to me. Um, is this uh, what's more, what's what's worse, this or Laramie Tunsil? Yes. Ooh. Uh, this, ooh, yeah, I mean, Larry, Larry Tunsil proven that he like, hey, let him smoke a bong or two. Like, yeah, he it's like he's, he's actually like, Larry he's Tunsil job. didn't put that out there, right? True. True. This, this guy, guy willingly <laughs> admitted to the whole world that he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> is there is there like is there a strategy though of doing this to get your name more out there? Could be, but I don't know if it's a good I, one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, my one recommendation before we go is uh, just go back and watch Chris Jones forty. Uh, from his time at the combine, Whew. what a, uh, what's what about? Is it pretty fast? Uh, nope. Uh, <laughs> strong, strong, uh, strong forty oh. that he put out. Um, just that's my recommendation. If no one's seen it, just type in Chris Jones forty yard dash. A couple of years ago now, right? Yeah, it's been a few years. Um, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a long. And time. his career is working out just fine too. So who knows? Maybe this Super guy who doesn't believe in space, he'll be fine be starting the Super Bowl here soon. Thank you guys for uh for joining us another uh this is this is really the slapdick friendship podcast uh revamp here. But a fun one. Uh we'll talk to you again on Monday. Until then. Peace.